Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we're going to do something different. Today we're making a random face generator. It's an easy tutorial even if you are a beginner. And it's not going to be a realistic face generator, it's like a, it's like an emoji or a sketch face generator. Like the pictures appearing on the screen right now. And let's just jump into it. First we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is create a G-frame of course. It's easy, just type in G frame and then I'm gonna give it a name, let's say frame and equals new G frame. Let's just import it. Yep. And then we're gonna give it a title between these two brackets. Let's say random. And now we uh, we will uh, set some parameters to this G frame, such as uh, the bounds. Let's say frame dot set bounds. And this is the X and Y and width and height of this frame. So let's give it a 10 in X and 10 in Y. And 300, 300. It's going to be 300 in height and 300 in width. And, and now we're going to set the uh, default close operation. Which is the what happened when the frame is closed. We want the program to exit. So let's say frame dot set default close operation and you just type in G frame dot exit on close. Exit on close. That makes it uh, that makes the program exits when the frame is closed. Now let's set the set visible to true. Just frame dot set set visible like this true and now let's create a G panel which is the panel which we will uh, draw the face on and uh, yep let's just do it G panel G panel let's call it P gonna call it P equals new G panel let's just add it to the frame so it can show up on the frame frame dot add add P just like that and I'm gonna open two, two curly brackets uh, and after this line of code so we can uh, so we can override the function I'm gonna just show you right now. If you don't know what override means, just do the following. You type in paint. That's the function that we're gonna override. It's called paint. You just uh, you will find it here, like this. That's overriding. Let's remove this line. So you type in this uh, at symbol, and then you type in override public void paint. And then it, uh, you give it this graphics argument and then you open to brackets just like this and as you can see here there's this graphics variable that we can use it has a lot of functions as you can see and it's responsible for, every, for everything that show, shows up on the screen on this panel like the visual side of this panel so we have draw image draw draw arc we have draw line, draw oval, draw rect, but we are not going to use. Uh, but we are only going to use three functions of uh, these functions, which are fill rect and fill oval and uh, set color. And before we can continue, I want to point out that the things that are random in this program are the shapes of each eye, the shape of the face and the mouth, and that is either a square or a circle. 
And another thing is also random and that is the color of each one of these same shapes. And to determine whether a shape is square or circle, we need to we need a random boolean that if it's true the shape is something and if it's not the shape is something else. And for the color of each shape, we uh we all know that the color is nothing but uh, three numbers, three numbers that have a value between 0 and 255, which means we need uh, three random numbers between 0 and, 50 to and 255 to create a random color, and that's what we're going to do. So first we need to create static random variable, which I'm going to do right now. Public static random and we're gonna call it random equals new random just like this and now we're gonna start painting our screen so first we're gonna set the color g dot set color just like this and we're gonna say new color and as you can see we need to give it three integer numbers so we're gonna say r dot wait oh yeah random random dot next int and it's gonna be the maximum value is 255 and we're gonna just copy this and make it the same on the other two numbers this one and this one now we need to draw a shape so I'm gonna do a if statement if a boolean is true we draw something and if it's not to draw another so if ran them dot next boolean this is a random boolean and uh, if it's true we're gonna fill rect we're gonna wait a minute fill rect we need also to give it uh, x and y with the height values so i'm gonna give it like uh, 50 50 and 200 200 and if it's if the uh, boolean is not true then let's say else we're gonna fill a novel which is a circle so wait a minute fill oval just like this same x and y and these values and now we need to draw a face we need to draw an eye and a mouth, two eyes and mouth. So we're just gonna copy this whole thing, just like this. Then I'm gonna paste it. This is the first eye, this is the second one, and this is the mouth. And the color, you don't have to change anything about this color line of code right here. We just need to change these positions of the shapes. So the first eye is not gonna be the same as the uh, so it's not gonna be it's gonna it's not gonna have the same parameters as the face so it's gonna be I uh, did the math and it turns out it's a hundred and hundred thirty five thirty five that's the first eye it's supposed to be the first eye let's just run it and see I don't know, maybe it's not gonna work because the we are drawing things on top of each other, yes. So this is a circle. It's not gonna show up only if we comment to these things, these two lines of code right here. Or maybe we need to maybe wait, wait a minute. Yeah, this is hundred hundred. We need also to change this one. So hundred hundred 35 and 35 now let's uh, draw the other eye which 
Let's do calculation here. It's going to be, wait a minute. So that's 100, 100. That one is going to be 175, maybe. Yeah. Wait a minute. 65. So gonna, it's going to be 165. 165. This is 100. Because those two eyes are in the same line. And they are the same size. So 35. 35. Let's just copy this line and paste it there. On the oval side. Here. Change this rect to oval, which is a circle. Now we need to draw the mouth, which is the last thing. But before we can do that, we I want to see the eyes, if they're right or wrong, or I just comment this one and run the program. Okay. As you can see, we have two eyes and a face. Now we need the mouth. Now we need to draw the mouth, which is, I think, 110 and 160, and it's gonna be an 80 in width, and I'm gonna make it a 20 on the height. And here it's gonna be 80, it's gonna be the same, just an oval. Shape is changed. A60 okay, and 110. Now let's run it and see. As you can see, everything is working fine. Maybe the mouth, let's just lower it a little bit. It's kind of too high. I'm gonna make it 100 and maybe 70 or 80. Let's just make it 70. Okay, run the file. Okay, as you can see, everything is great but it's not smooth as you can see it's kind of hard so let's, let's make it smooth to do that we need to create a new variable called graphics 2d which is let's create a new variable graphics 2d let's import it let's call it g and we're gonna make it let's change this one let's make it uh, g2 and this new variable called g is going to equal to g2 dot create just like this now i need to cast the uh, this variable because they are not the same type so graphics to the okay we're done let's just try it out Okay, it's not that smooth. I don't. Oh yeah, we need to set something to this graphics 2D. It's uh, just need to type this line of code: g dot dot set rendering hints. I think. Yep, rendering hints. And then you need to type in rendering rendering hints. And let's just choose this one. Wait, it's uh, it's anti-aliasing, yes. And here we're gonna type in rendering hints again. Dot value anti-aliasing on this one. Now let's try it gonna be smooth yep as you can see let's just try it another time so it can get a circle maybe okay we're not having a circle but you can see these circles these circles uh, the mouth and the uh, eyes are smooth and we need to change the face when we click so we need to add a mouse listener frame dot add mouse listener new mouse listener it's easy you can just well, let's add a um, mouse adapter i think that would be better mouse adapter 
And now we're gonna call a function called... We're gonna create a function called... Mouse... Clicked. Yep. So when, when we click, we want something to happen, which is... We want to repaint the frame, so we can have another face. So you just type in frame dot repaint. That's it. I think our program is done. Let's run it. Let's click. Yep, as you can see, there's a random face generated with different colors and different shapes of the eyes and face. As you can see, we can change the color as long as we want. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun for beginners and it's gonna make you learn more about the GUI and the drawing, the graphics of the frames. Okay, so I think we are done for today and thanks for watching.